Ryan Garcia versus Tifimo Lopez could be next since Tifimo Lopez called out Ryan Garcia and we all know that Ryan Garcia makes the biggest fights happen. Who do actually win this fight? Well, before we talk about who'd win this fight, let's take a look at their latest performances. It was Ryan Garcia fought Oscar Duarte and which both started off very slow until Ryan Garcia started landing his head goal and knocked out Oscar Duarte in round day. Duarte's legs have betrayed him! At this, we all know that Ryan Garcia just recently fought Devin Haney, and when she blocked Devin Haney in round one, then dropped him around seven, then dropped him again in rounds 10 and 11, and obviously Ryan Garcia ended up taking it by decision. Now let's take a look at Tifimo Lopez's latest performances, and when she fought Josh Taylor, and when Tifimo Lopez outclassed Josh Taylor, and Tifimo Lopez even landed a jumping jab in round eight, blocked Josh Taylor in round nine and round 12. <laughs> And then you get oh, hit. And which Tifima Lopez ended up taking it by decision. For your winner by unanimous decision. And new WBO. At this, we all know that he just recently fought Jaime Ortiz, in which Jaime Ortiz was just running scared. And Tifima Lopez took control of the whole entire fight, landed some great shots. And Tifima Lopez ended up taking it by decision. And still, WBO Ring Magazine. Now, to get more specific on what Tefima Lopez said involving him calling out Ryan Garcia is that he said that he's willing to make a fight happen in September or December and that it also doesn't have to be at his weight. It could be at a catchway so that way there's no problems moving forward. So the fact that Tefima Lopez looks to be really interested in making this fight happen to the point that he's willing to fight at a catchway just tells me that this fight could easily be made if Ryan Garcia is also willing to make this fight happen. But realistically, I don't even see how this is a fair fight for Tefima Lopez based on what Ryan Garcia showed against Devin Haney. So for those who believe that Tefima Lopez will easily outperform Ryan Garcia and will embarrass him, Ask yourself, what can Tefima Lopez do differently that would allow him to put a beating on Ryan Garcia? Because I know Tefima Lopez is very skilled and has good ring IQ, but Devin Haney is also very skilled and has the physical advantages over Tefima Lopez, and he couldn't even outperform Ryan Garcia. So in the end, based on what we have seen Ryan Garcia do against one of the best title holders in the 140-pound division, Devin Haney, and on top of the fact that Tefima Lopez has been dropped before, I see Tefima Lopez getting the same beating that Devin Haney got against Ryan Garcia.